You guys know that I like to do unboxing videos on the channel from time to time and I think this one's going to take the cake as the biggest unboxing video I think I have ever done. We're going to be kind of unboxing the trailer today. That's right, we are going to be unboxing a crap load of boxes from the trailer. Now, this year I'm going to be running some Final Approach decoys. So, in the trailer we've got all kinds of stuff, and I'm excited to get it out, get it all organized, and we're going to do that in today's video. But we have a lot of boxes to go through. I want to show you guys all the new decoys, all the new stuff that we're going to be using this year. It's going to be a pretty fun video. So, I guess without further ado, we're going to go ahead and start unboxing all this stuff. We've got a lot of boxes to choose from. Oh shoot, I choose this one. <laughs> oh, that could have been bad. I about missed the seat. And it begins. We're going to start opening this stuff up. Here we've got Texas Rigs 48 inch, 4 ounce. These are for my duck floaters that I'll be using. So we've got one, two, three. Four of those for four dozen mallard floaters. So let's pop this open and take a quick look at them. So here's the Texas rigs. They are a coated cable rig. So those are gonna be pretty nice. They don't get kinks. I've been using coated cable rigs for a couple of years now, and it's just far superior than the um, PVC lines. But sliding decoy weights, I'm pumped. These are the perfect length, 48 inch, four ounce weight. That's all I ever use, really. And something else about the weights on the rigs is they're uh, dipped, so they're not gonna be as harsh when they're banging against decoys and stuff. So that's gonna be nice. I'm gonna try and get things going pretty quick throughout this video because we do have quite a bit of stuff to go through. Um, here we've got a bag from Rogers, and this is the 12 slot floating duck bag. Ooh, it's got a shoulder strap. I like that a lot. And it's got like a cover for the top side. Nice little decoy bag. It's got a shoulder strap that's actually got buckles on the side so you can take it off. It's got a little storage compartment on the front. Sweet little 12 slot bag. Looks like we got some other FA 12 slot bags. So let's pop this one open. It's gonna be different than the Rogers one. This one does not have a shoulder strap, but it's got a carry handle, 12 slots, and a little pocket on the front. So this one is gonna work better for like painted head decoys. That Rogers one will work better for flocked head decoys. I am going to have, I'm gonna fill up my garbage can with like half of this. Not even, I'm gonna have so much garbage to throw away. Another decoy bag, six slot mid-size goose bag. So this will be for my goose floaters that I'm gonna be getting. I don't have the goose floaters yet. Um, you guys bought them all, so I wasn't able to get any. So hopefully here within the next few weeks, we'll get some more goose floaters in. But uh, sweet little bag. We got a shoulder strap once again, and a little pocket on the front. Time for the next box. This is a fun box. This is going to be a fun one to open. We've got the Final Approach Live Series Mallards in here. And these ones are the ones with flocked heads. So I've got other decoys in there that are the same thing, except they're not flocked heads. Gosh, these look nice. These look really nice. Flocked head. Great paint on that thing. I can't wait to get these things on the water. They look great. We got resters and feeders and uprights and uh, drinkers and a collar. So we got different head positions. Here's a hen. Look at that. Sweet little decoys and they're at a really good price. I believe um, on Rogers, the painted head versions, they're running a dozen of them for 110 bucks. So. I'll leave a link to that in the description if you guys want to go check these out. But sweet decoys, man. I'm excited. We'll have to look at everything when we're done, but I'm wanting to get as much unboxed as quickly as possible for you guys. This is the same thing, except these are the painted head version. So these will be the ones that I'm going to just beat, 
beat the crap out of my everyday drivers. Um, load them in the kayak. I'm going to try and keep those flocked head ones kind of nice and take those out on like farm pond hunts and other things. So once again, it's the same thing, just a painted head. And these look awesome. I love these decoys. Wow. Final approach is stepping the game up. So we got that. We got the all different head positions, except the painted head instead of flop. This one's kind of heavy. These are sleeper shells. I'm gonna use these a lot. Yeah. Here we go. We've got the final approach stackable sleeper shells. We've got two dozen of these in the arsenal. These things are thick, heavy duty. They look awesome. The paint that they've been putting on these new decoys looks great. So we got two dozen of these sleeper shells. These are gonna be perfect for field hunts and for putting on the edges of ponds and maybe putting out on the ice if we get an ice ripper hunt going because I would love to shoot geese with the ice ripper again. That was so much fun, but I'd wanna make it so then there's a smaller hole and we can put like floaters out in the hole and then have shells along the edge. It would look so cool. We got some sleeper shells. Those things are awesome. Inside this box, we have full body goose decoy. Gosh, these look nice. This is the Final Approach HD Honker. These things are beautiful decoys and I can't wait to hunt over these things. And uh, something that I really, really, really like is the bases. So these are on square bases. Now I gotta kinda figure out a storage system for everything inside the trailer, which is probably what I'm gonna end up doing today. But um, square bases, they're not gonna tip over as easy in the wind. And these are super sturdy, they're connected all the way through. So basically, I can leave the stakes in them if I wanted to and just throw them in the trailer, or I can bag them all up and stuff, but awesome looking decoys. We got feeders, and we got sentry head, and we've got another feeder, another feeder, and like a little rester kind of head. So we've got six dozen of these to unbox, and um, I think we've got only a couple more boxes to go through and show you guys. And I'll show you guys everything once I've got it all unboxed and looking nice for you. I'm kind of pumped about this one. I knew this one was in the works for a while. And I don't, I'll don't. i have to unbox this later and show you. But this is the new uh, Rogers 3-Man Goosebuster A-Frame. And I'll have to set that up and show you guys um, probably in a... Different video if I don't do it today, but I'm gonna wait to unbox that one. Yeah, this is cool. A lot of the boxes in there is boxes of stuff that I've shown you, like a bunch of goose decoys and uh, decoy bags and stuff like that. But here we have the uh, wide mouth decoy bag from Final Approach, and this thing's pretty neat and. My plan is to use this for my sleeper shells. So it's got backpack straps on it, which is going to be pretty nice if you're having to walk in somewhere. Um, I don't know if I'll use this just for the uh, um, sleeper shells or not, but it's a pretty solid bag. It'd be good for duck floaters and stuff. Opens up really wide. You can fit a bunch of stuff in there. It was, I think it's going to fit those sleeper shells really well. And then it folds up and then you just clip it closed. So pretty slick little bag, looks comfy. It's got like a nice padded back on it. Two carry handles right here. This thing's, this thing's solid. That's a nice decoy bag. Okay, so that is everything that I've got from this haul. I'm gonna get it all put together and show you guys everything once it's all kind of out of the box and organized. We're done. It took me like, uh, let's see, I, I started at like one o'clock and it's like four. That was a heck of a lot of work, boys. 
I've got all this stuff out still, not in the trailer, so I can show you guys everything. I don't know if I showed you guys the six slot bags for the full bodies from Rogers. They're pretty sweet. I'll show you guys real quick. So I figured this out on the first bag, and after that I was like, holy crap, this is awesome. So here we've got the six slot bag from Rogers. This is the uh, Elite six slot bag. And right here, there's a nice little pocket. Inside this pocket, you can keep your stakes or your stands. It's got a little hole in there that goes through. It's protected on the inside and it won't scratch any of your decoys. That is awesome. I saw that, I'm like, holy crap, this is so cool. But here's the spread. I've got six dozen of the Canada full bodies. And then we've got two bags of the flocked head mallards. We got one bag of the painted head mallards. The other guys are right here inside the trailer. I'll show you in a minute. We got the Rogers blind and then we got the sleeper shells. I want to give you guys a closer look at these floaters and the different head positions. So we got the drinker and then we got this little Susie right here. She's a collar, I think. Um, got a little feeder hen. We got the drinker Drake. The paint on these looks awesome, man. These are some seriously good decoys. I think I showed you a drinker already. We got a rester. We got a feeder. So there's all sorts of different head positions. The packs come with uh, five hens and seven drakes. So looking forward to using these things. These rigs are pretty solid and the decoys look pretty solid. So I, I cannot wait to get these out in the water and be hunting ducks. It's going to be a fun season. So let's go ahead and check out the honker decoys. I've got an all, I've got a six pack set out over there to show you guys all the different head positions and things like that. So each six pack that I got had four of the feeders, square bases, and we got one little rester dude. These guys look good. And then we've got the big old sentry. Look at that guy. So we got a bunch of these. We got six dozen. Six dozen Canada full bodies, four dozen mallard floaters, two dozen of the shells, all bags, and a uh, Rogers A-frame. I think that'll do for a season. So I'm really pumped. I'm glad to be working with Final Approach. I'm really excited for everything that's going to be coming. But let's see how things fit inside the trailer. Oh, I'm curious to see how this is all going to fit. And boom, we've got everything in the trailer with plenty of room to spare. So I uh, don't know if the ducks are actually going to stay in the trailer during the season because I mainly use them when I'm not using the trailer. So these guys might live in the garage at home, but I did put some hangers up on these for if I ever want to hang my floaters in here but we've also got them in bags which works as well but the uh, six dozen Canada full bodies work pretty well here and so we got three 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 and then three so it doesn't take up all that much room in here honestly so pretty happy about that we still need to be able to fit three dozen goose floaters in here, but I think if I take the ducks out, that'll fit just fine. And this poor guy, he's all naked, and he needs some grass and mud on him, so maybe we'll do that in another video. I don't want to tackle that today, but got the old Rogers blind, and this is the 2020 version, which I'm pumped about. Also, for those of you who have been following along with the trailer journey, I actually added clips instead of the ring connectors for the battery. So that makes it easy to uh, attach it to the battery so then I can power my lights. If you guys are curious, I got lights that go all the way around on the inside so it lights it up pretty good at night. And then I got lights on the outside over here. And then I've got some on the front. This was a long, hard day of work, but we got everything ready to go for the season. Super pumped about these new decoys. They look awesome, and I can't wait to hunt over them. 
but we've still got a few more decoys coming they're just not in stock yet so we got to go pick those up another time but all in all it's been a good day it's, been, it's like christmas in august so uh if you guys like this video make sure to leave it a thumbs up and if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet please be sure to do that you don't want to miss out on any of the videos that are coming out with september coming up we got hunting season and we got doves and teal and then we got october with ducks and then we got all of that ducks and geese all the way till middle of february so it's gonna be a fun ride we're gonna to get to use these new decoys a lot this season so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i will catch you on the next one